recording this is what our interview process looks like for candidates whether these are OSE developers or HR people so this is the interview form on the wiki from linked from the HR page so okay first name commitment the, the first thing is can they commit 10 hours of volunteer time for 90 days and actually there's a caveat here on this one that I should explain because it's okay like I'm thinking that some people can't um, I'm gonna say or tag team so I already talked to a few people like if you don't have 10 hours that's okay but your team is needs to put in 10 hours because it gets into like how much time we're spending on onboarding versus how much time they're you know we're training people we're recruiting them we're spending time so I gotta put back some minimum time but uh, we can say okay 10 hours is what you would do by yourself or tag team that means you you find yourself you actually can find a partner that works with you so that you guys are actually contributing 10 hours and maybe each person does five so that's actually another option for meeting that the time requ the effort requirements okay open source software and collaboration um, are you willing to download the Ubuntu, Ubuntu distribution of Linux for OSE preloaded with OSE software because we collaborate openly on all open source software so that's definitely make that expectation right up front it's like we work together and we use this common software stack that you're expected to run off a USB and uh, are people comfortable with that definitely want to find out what's the what's the biggest value you get out of volunteering with OSC that's good to know because uh, it kind of tells how good of a match we are uh, though that doesn't really s yeah it, it indicates something towards performance uh -huh. okay uh, also like collaborating we collaborate via work logs where we document all our work and, and show links to work product are you willing to do this on a continuing basis and log your work hours yep so that's an important one yeah do they understand the significance of uh, documenting because we all work together so just kind of it's like we're pretty much setting expectations up front just like what's what's the basic process so down the road it's not like oh yeah by the way you got to download this ISO it's like we train people from the beginning it's like here's how we do stuff and make sure they're okay with that because some people it can turn out that they're not not willing like stuff like that um, finances do you currently have a full-time job that typically helps to for somebody to be stable uh, financially so that they can contribute as volunteers they don't have a financial pressure Video instructionals. A big part of our work is documenting and instructions. Are you willing to learn Caden Live, collaborative video editing, and screencasting? So, are you comfortable doing voiceover or putting yourself on video? Do you have a YouTube channel? Well, for the people on the um, HR team, I think we, we have to have people who are comfortable doing instructionals that they put themselves on video. Uh, at best, that would be the case for everyone on the working team. Some people are not good with language, so we can kind of like be lax on this criterion of putting yourself on video or doing your voiceover but in general we should have that because that's just what we do here because yeah. uh, that other person said they're not comfortable on video so they were out you know yeah person who was applying yeah, for, especially for HR we're gonna be yeah you know, yeah so definitely have to be comfortable. yeah definitely definitely you gotta you gotta play out there execution uh, well, this execution, I mean, that's what's the biggest task you're proud of that you've accomplished. That's good, but I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know, I'm going to even cut that out because cause we can ask it, but I don't know, it's not super critical. Uh, books you read in the last three months, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, can they do the work here? Uh, do they know the difference between a fake open source and real open source? That's a cool one to know because if they know the difference, they're like they are on top of their game in terms of open source. I like to ask that question. The, basically, that refers to the non-commercial. Do they understand that that's open source or not? Which it's not, because we right. we have to have things that are open source so people so we can run the workshops. Um, ethics, you know, ethics. You don't figure out until you actually run into that soft skills um, um, I don't know managerial managerial and conflict resolution yeah 
that's that's okay. Um, integrated humans, it's kind of getting out of control there. <laughs> Learning, show an example of something you learned that revolutionized how you approach something. That's a good one to know. That shows whether the person is a good researcher, um, like yeah. where they can solve problems. That'll be good to know. Like for example, we want to put them to better tasks if they're really good at that. Uh, can do right. audacious goal that you set for yourself. I don't know. Um, I mean, that's. It might be good a, to hear. It might just be good to hear what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. That's good. Uh, so then other skills: IT, CAD, graphics, publishing. I'm gonna just put that all into one skills: IT, CAD, graphics. Yeah, so Hart should be joining us anytime. And then uh, phone. I like to say, um, so this one I'm going to just trash. Graphics video is good. I already have that. Publishing, yes. Phone. I like to know if people can use the phone. Because if people can use the phone, they, they can be pretty effective. Meaning they're not afraid to call people. This thing, oh, that's good, but... All right, sourcing. Nah, that's too detailed. Leadership. Um, teaching. I'm gonna put that in here. Teaching. Because kind of like what I've noticed during the interviews, it's like we don't have time enough to go through all this stuff. You kind of try to focus on the main points. So I'll just trash this one because I put teaching up there. Teaching and instructionals production. Instructionals or how to, any, any, so I'll get that. Yeah, because just paperwork reduction here. Community, managing a community. Okay, so. Managing a community or group. Managing starting a community or group. It's kind of good to know. So. And the last one is Are you punctual? <laughs> <laughs> so here we're two minutes behind. We don't care if they're inspiring or they're punctual. So already for this we know the answer here, uh, but okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stop this video. So that's the basic interview form, um, basic interview with the main kind of questions we want to ask. Just cut to the chase, main critical skills, be part of the process, like document, be comfortable on video production, uh, keep the work log, log, use the OSE Linux, the open source Linux. Um, you know, already, yeah, it's like already the OSC Linux, just another note on OSC Linux, why it's important. Like, for example, right now, if I had the working software for, which is software, which is, it's called prompter face for controlling the 3D printer. Like there's all these settings I have to do. Yesterday I was spending all day pretty much figuring out all the settings. So it's like, that's why the OSC Linux is important. We got to have a common if I had that that distribution, then I would have been running, you know, making videos today instead of finishing up the calibration and all that, uh, or like all the settings on a printer, on the 3D printer. So, very important. Um, OSC Linux on a USB drive that anybody can work with uh, without interrupting any of their computer system. Okay, so I'll end this video. Yeah.